Six foot three, fast and focused. Freestyle swimmer Freya Anderson has Tokyo in her sights, but like any typical 18-year-old, even the Olympics will not separate her from social media. I know a few swimmers that do do that, but that's not like how I go about it. I love social media and I love to see what everyone's up to and keep in touch with my friends and family. So, um, no, I'd definitely still be on it. Um, I'd probably still be on it before my race, just checking how everyone is. But um, no, I think really? I, yeah, um, I think I just like to stay in touch with everyone and you know keep in the bubble, I guess, really of the social media. Before Christmas, she unexpectedly won two goals at the European Short Course Championships. But the Olympics is her live stream, and if she makes it, she'll enjoy the pressure. I get kind of excited. I think that's my sort of comfort zone. Um, I'm definitely more comfortable standing in front of tens of thousands of people in a race suit than speaking in front of 10 or 20 people in a room. I don't know why that is, I think it's just swimming's been my like comfort blanket and it's just something that I really enjoy. A few days ago, Freya swam the fastest she's ever swum at an international in Flanders. She picked up three gold medals and it makes her the third fastest Britain of all time. It is all going in the right direction. Uh, she's just a competitor. Um, she, can, uh, she can stand up in the race arena and she can compete and she can touch the wall first better than anyone else. I think she can be on that podium. Um, I think we're trying to point her in the right direction and if, if that happens then so be it. If it doesn't then back to the drawing board and she goes again. But with success comes the media spotlight, something she hasn't been comfortable with. I think I'm starting to get used to it now. I quite enjoy doing the odd interview. I used to like if this was me like four years ago, I couldn't be them. I couldn't, be do, I, I couldn't do it. Um, yeah, I'd just be dead nervous and like worrying about it for days before. So now it's just like all about just take it as it comes, really. By the time the Olympics start, Freya will have swum one and a half thousand kilometres more. On a cold winter's morning here at Ellesmere College Pool, that can be a challenge, but she knows there can be no shortcuts. Sometimes it is definitely really hard and I can't go without moaning, but um, you just have to keep your eyes on the prize, I guess, especially with the Olympics being so close. Like me personally, I don't want to be stood behind the blocks in Tokyo if I make the team. Um, and having like regrets that I didn't put everything I could into the training, so I think just what I'm trying to go about is like just don't hold anything back. And who knows, in 182 days, she could be making a splash in more ways than one. Jackie Beltrow, Sky News, Ellesmere.